Hello everyone, and thanks for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let's continue playing as that there German Reich. So last time we took out the UK, and in this episode, we will take out Ireland, Denmark, and basically everyone but the Soviet Union. Why? Well, mostly because it's going to take me a little bit of time to plan for the Soviet Union, and we could have one glorious, terribly strong, terrible fight against the Soviets, but in the meantime, I have already formed two Reichskommissariats. The Reichskommissariat Belgien und Nordfrankreich und Reichskommissariat uh, Niederlande. There you go. Cool. Um, yeah, I just literally liberated them right before I began this. Uh, a little less construction speed, but whatever. And the Belgians have not very much. Yeah. Uh, just a generic focus through that kind of that's okay wasn't planning very much for this anyways that'd be cool if the Reichs Commissariats could get their own focus trees that'd be pretty awesome but regardless also someone wants me well technically someone wants me to but I also want to use SS divisions and I had I had to figure that out I wasn't exactly sure Hungary's kind of big but how to create SS divisions now I had to look it up but apparently you need Heinrich Himmler in your cabinet, which is fine with me. We don't really need Martin Bormann anymore. Uh, Japan demands French Indochina, that's fine with me. So let's go ahead and get Heinrich Himmler. Having Himmler in your cabinet will allow the recruitment of foreign SS divisions. Yes, please. And what can we do? Execute Case Anton. Someone said I should do that in late 1942. I'll do that. And demands from the SS. So I've never actually done this. I have never done recruit the SS and stuff like that. I don't mind if he becomes a field marshal, I just don't want him to get too much, uh, how you say, I don't want him to have too much power. The Netherlands, recruitment campaign, France, Belgium, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, yeah, I'll do, definitely do that. Permit SS recruitment in England. Uh, let's give him field command. Cool. Okay, W. Oh, the SS under Himmler believes that they should be in charge of recruiting foreign volunteers for the fight against global Bolshevism. The Wehrmacht strongly disagrees and will not tolerate a parallel command structure. Pushing either of them too far may have grave consequences. They're calm and they're loyal. Alright, well, I did it anyways. Uh, I think giving Himmler too much command over anything might be a bad idea. But that's just me. Also, uh, oh crap. I did send my tanks towards Denmark. Which is fine. And I do have a lot of these divisions moving over to Ireland. Nice pilot promoted. Very cool. Uh, you know what? You. Huh. I have three divisions planning the invasion of the Isle of Man. Alright then. So be it. You know what? But what if we did the same thing over here? Belfast. Over here. Oh, and there goes Communist China. Alright. Very cool. I will go to war with the Soviet Union probably in 1942, early 1942. It's already August, and by the time we get there, it's just, in my opinion, probably a little bit too late if we start right now. And I want to take out a large portion of Scandinavia, Ireland, uh, maybe even Turkey, or even probably Portugal, actually. Just take Portugal out, just so that they don't maybe join the Allies in the future. They'll join anyways now, but we, if we can take them out now, that'd be great. Ooh, what is that? Oh. We lost an allied convoy, whatever. And also, we are, once I take out Ireland, going to really focus on a extremely good navy. That's why in my construction slots, we have a lot of dockyards coming online. After I build some refineries and some air bases, then for the invasion of the Soviet Union. Alright, what is this? Lost another convoy, whatever. Whatever. Very cool. Tanks, how are you doing? Also, we are justifying on Denmark as well. Guaranteed by the UK, but something tells me the UK probably isn't going to be able to help them out very much. Uh, go ahead, guys, if you can. It's fine with me. If you can. Oh, you still need a couple more days to plan that, and you need 20-some more days as well. So, uh, Manchuko, sure, sure. Let's see, did we lose anything? Oh, it looks like someone's trying to invade Greece. Oh, oh no. Well, there goes China. Well then, Japan, I guess ultimately you did beat up China successfully, and you're connected to Vietnam and Cambodia. Well then, I guess I was wrong earlier, and thinking that having you do this 
was a waste of your time, but I guess not. Good job, China, or Japan. Good job. Convoy. Uh, I definitely want to help my allies in Africa, though. Before we move on to the USSR. So that, that'll probably be our main focus. Especially with Spain doing so well now. Down here. I'm fairly confident that we should be doing okay. Oh, well, let's see. 1941. Let's get some better industry. And did we hit somebody? No, we lost a plane. Oh, American fleet here is here. Nice. Very nice. I still have some coffee. Hold on. Oh, that's hot. That is hot. Oh, very good. Sure, not a go back with the, those conquered Chinese people. Sure, why not? Um, let's see. I do have one thing of bombers here. It's not doing very much, though. And I have some cover in the central Mediterranean. That's why we're actually able to bomb stuff. Oh, right. There we go. To Munster. That's fine with me. Very good. I don't want to train too many SS divisions. I don't want him to be too strong. Not yet. Uh, you guys are doing fine. Just go ahead. Oh, and it looks like the Marines did a great job here. You know what? Since we're not really using some of these guys... Hmm. Do we have people guarding this entire area? We have 51 coast divisions. You might as well do Ireland as well. That'll be good. 56 divisions will be needed in total. So we got to wait a little bit for that. Uh, great. Not much is happening. We lost probably a plane in exchange for 7 convoys and 10 more planes. Alright. Very good, very good. Infantry. Also, I am starting to convert some of my infantry. Oh, look, they already have a division. Into better attacking infantry divisions. By that, uh, right now, let's see, our normal infantry has 10 infantry battalions, but now I'm making some thin infantry with artillery instead, so they have much better soft attack, because right now, we have 40 less soft attack, even though we have quite a bit of organization. We have quite a bit less, but not, but the soft attack just kind of offsets it, so. That is my goal. What did we lose? Oh, we actually lost some Italian ships. That's not good. Because American Navy is in here, but we sunk one of their destroyers. And Ireland is gone. Good. Good in the neighborhood. Alright. You know what? Since we're here. I want... Let's see. Where, where is everyone based? Uh. Hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I know exactly what I'm going to do. I want everyone to come down here. This is going to be the army that helps push into or through Africa. At least one of these three armies. And then I'm going to build another army up eventually that will um, be kind of like a garrison force just in case things happen. Oh, good. Last land auction. Great. Great, great, great. Nice. It's like an American crew carrier. Oh, that's actually really good. Holy cow. Uh, let's see. Anything over here? No. Good. Okay. You can stop that. You will come from here, though, and invade Scapa Flow, or that, that area, whatever that is. Good, and you are doing, the subs are doing this, where, uh, we don't exactly need that. Yeah, do that. Come over here. Naval invasion support over here. High level of repair, please. And then, Denmark. How many more days do we have to wait? <clears throat> That's certainly amount of time. We'll go with Denmark, and then we'll probably invade Norway. That's probably what we'll do. Good. It looks like our allies are doing fairly well over here, even though they are kind of getting beaten up in Syria. But in this part of Africa, that's pretty good. I think they're doing okay. So for now, Panzer Division, join him. Vesa M's are doing okay. Yeah, non aggression packs, fine with me. Ooh. Two Spanish convoys, Spanish convoys. What if we added more planes down here? We will need to increase our conscription laws. We're already on an extensive conscription. Service by requirement, so be it. Hurts our industry just a little bit, but whatever. No, no real big problem with that. I do need more resources, though. Definitely need more chromium, tungsten, and a lot of aluminum. All right, I do need to research better uh, 1940 ships, though. That'll be good. A little more coffee. Abel Kesselring falls ill. So be it. Also, when the time comes, once we're done with the Soviet Union, which will take a while, 
of course. I will go through Africa and probably invade Brazil through the rest of South America, through Central America, up to fight the United States. That's probably the best way for me to take them out. So, that is just my plan, and I wanted to let you know about that. 1.3, we're boosting ideology still in the United States. Oh, and there's... Holy crap, how many divisions do you have down here? The entire Free American Empire Navy is over here. Three carriers, seven battleships, three heavy cruisers, ten light cruisers, 49 destroyers, dispersed industry, and then, finally, with 23 subs. Wow. Alright, let's go with some... Mm, I need hard-having things. Let's go with armor first, because we have a little bit of bonus XP we could use for that. Uh, good. Another thing I can throw onto here. And we, lo we lost an allied convoy in exchange for an American sub. So be it. Alright. Our, our divisions are down here. Good. We're going to send you down here. Gibraltar. And then, how are our normal ships doing? You are Rex Reserve Flotilla. You are repairing. That's part of the fleet. And you guys are kind of repairing as well. Which I will divide these ships up. anti common turn pact, that's good. Uh, Atlantic Wall would be okay. I want war with the USSR. Anti-Soviet pact. Sends all members to sends offer to all members of the anti common turn pact to join a defensive alliance against the Soviet Union. Well, that if one of them is attacked, including Turkey, Finland, or Afghanistan. Hmm. In my opinion, that's probably not great to do. Let's do a war with the USSR. I'll, let's do that. I'm really just kind of waiting for them to declare war on me, or we declare war on them. You know, something like that. For you, go ahead when you can. Nice, we have 170, 78 ships, and we definitely have to change this up. And there they go. Cool, two more Marines. Awesome. And we got it. Very nice, very easy. Great. Alright, send the Marines this way. Because to invade Sweden... I do want to invade Sweden because they have a lot of... Uh, they have some aluminum, quite a bit of steel. But they do have a lot of chromium and tungsten that we desperately need. And I don't think they want to join our alliance. Oh, they're kind of communist, actually. Oh, just like today. Oh, never mind. Uh, what? Oh. No, we didn't hear anything about that. Anyways, uh, tanks, marines, good job. Good job, guys. Send two guys here, and you'll invade there. And then from here, oh, uh, you know what? Since we're going to go to war with Denmark anyways, you might as well plan an invasion of Copenhagen. And there's justification of the Soviet Union against the Romanians. Maybe we'll be in a war with the Soviets before long. Let's see. Oh, that's going to be a long time. That's going to be like over 100 days. Yeah, the Italians are dying over here. That's not good. Hmm. Well, you know what? Select all and... Go home. Repair. Now. Let's go ahead and combine these two. I want to see these two combined. Of course, we will go to war with Denmark. Come on, boys. Get over there. Great. So we've got six battleships. I want to make sure that the fleet that we use is the best of the best. So, and then I got to start making a patrol fleet as well. Uh, let's see, what's the best of the best? 1936 heavy ship hold D is very good. Uh, the turpits is very good. I'm only going to add two more heavy battleships, and so I guess these two will do it. These two battleships, they're okay. They're really not that great, so I'm going to leave them out. Admiral Hipper, I'm only going to add this one in just because it's a level 2 compared to the others, even though itself is not that great. Obviously, these two light cruisers are pretty good. Anything with a denotion of an alphabet uh, characteristic, like C, tells me that I already edited it, it, so it should be fairly decent. Light cruiser, light cruiser, da da da. Leipzig class is okay, not great. Mm, not bad. Let's uh, don't really want to add one more in, but whatever. And a lot of destroyers. A lot of destroyers are actually not too bad. Ooh. All. And let's see, we have five capital ships, so that means we need at least 20 screens. We already have 20, so let's add in a few more since I will be adding in uh, quite a few more heavy ships. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty good. Which leaves a lot of extra ships to be in the new patrol fleet. So actually, for now... 
I want all of you. I want you to upgrade to a better whole ship. Can we actually upgrade this further? Yes. Go ahead and do that. Okay, and then... How long was that? 57 days? You know, that's not bad. That could be worse. I want you all go home. I want you all to repair. And now this, even though this is only 38, this is our main strike force fleet. This will come over here. And we will call this the patrols. Patrol fleet Uno. Good. And we'll put you under... Let's see, naval AA? Probably not. Lack of naval AA is not good. God dang it, I hate these old guards. Positioning, leader experience gain. I'll do that. Gunter Lutjens. And let's see, we, we'll have to further divide this up. Once, let's see, we've got... Take one battleship. Take two heavy cruisers. Take a few light cruisers and... That's not bad. For one patrol fleet, that's pretty good. And for this, this has too many destroyers, in my opinion. Let's see, that's two, so we need a total of enough. That should be good enough. So we have a bunch of extra destroyers at the current moment that will need extra heavy ships in it. So, uh, you know what, let's go ahead and take some off. Ten destroyers, that's pretty good. Cool. And then actually I'm going to send you over here. Why? Just because. Because this way we have a more balanced patrol fleet. The smaller your task forces are, the better, technically, especially in your patrol fleet, that they will perform in battle, because they can get better positioning, they can get better, uh, not just positioning, but being able to strike and hit uh, enemy ships faster and better, more strategically. But, you, of course, you run the risk of getting hit more because technically to a degree because there's less ships so the more numerical enemy that there is the more firepower is directed per every ship so at least that's how I think of it but then again I might just be completely dead wrong but I just want to go against Denmark I don't know about you but I just want to go kill Denmark right now all right so you Kriegsmarine we're gonna call this got tier and this is a uh, German Reich. Um, hmm. Ah. Oh crap! I want to call it Furs Fist. Furs what? Faust. I think it was Faust. Who asked? No, 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 no. There you go. German Reich. Nah, get rid of the German Reich. Furs Faust. Now that's now. Now we know that this is the best ship. And actually, uh, crap! This is not the right one. My bad. There we go. Now we know it's the right one. It's the B team. This is the one. No, no, no. This is the one? Oh, this is the high seas flotilla. God dang it. What am I doing? Oh, no. It's up here. God dang it. The way they organized all these ships is just kind of nuts. No, no, no. It wasn't It wasn't B team. Uh, okay. My bad. My bad, everyone. Everyone you can go back and stop screaming at me. I know what I'm doing. Got it here. So good. You guys are going to be patrolling... Uh, this area. Actually, no, you're not going to... Uh, you kind of have to do that, because I can't get through here now. Once we go to war with them. But, we do have some subs over here. You know what, let's just... It's easier just to divide everything up to be more organized. Submarines. Good. There you go. And actually, we need someone over here, too. Uh, for you, all of you guys... Do naval invasion support through here and here. That'll be fine. Alright, alright. Let's see. Sunk three enemy convoys. That's pretty nice. North Africa is looking like more of a mess now. And tanks. Oh, we have six tank divisions. That's great, actually. We have no mountaineers because they all died. So be it, whatever. Uh, we don't want to go to war yet. We want to make sure everything is ready. Three, two, one, good enough. You want, you're focusing on neutrality focus? Well, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Then we'll go to war with Sweden. 35 days. Cool. They are attacking us as we are attacking them. Very nice. Heinz Guderian, nothing here, huh? Also, if we, I'm just thinking, 
But right now, if we get attacked by the Soviets, that means we're in a defensive war, and that the Soviets are the aggressors. Who would you support? Me or the Soviet Union? That is really the question I'm asking here. Oh, do we... Okay, I didn't even need to take out that part of, uh... Okay, Copenhagen. Okay, okay then. Uh, with that in mind then, then we will invade from here. Kurselin to Karlskrona. That's kind of cool. Karlskrona. And unfortunately, we will need to be right here. And then... No. There you go, that's better. Go right there. Oh. Ah, oh, they got a couple guys there. I see. And let's see. Did we make it down here? Iceland takes control of foreign affairs. Yeah, whatever. I will go to war with Iceland, take them out eventually. As well as Denmark, so we can start bombing the hell out of everyone around here. Honestly, that's amazing. Wait, the owner is the Confederated States? What? <clears throat> Wait. The Free American Empire became the Confederate States of America. What? Hello? Paradox, what are you doing? Wait, you went with continue the New Deal regardless. Reestablish a gold state. What is going on? I see this flag, and you know, I get my, you know, Dixie feelings coming all the way back, but oh my gosh. Uh, let's see, repairing. That's fine, whatever. It'll take a few days, a couple weeks to go to war with the Swedish, but that's okay. Now, I want to slowly add in my units down here. I just hope they don't get taken out. Ooh, construction 4, very good. Um, We're doing actually very well in fuel. I just want need to focus more on my navy and whatnot now. And I want to look like the good guys, so I'm going to let the Soviet Union declare war on Romania, thereby justifying mm, them to ask me to help them out in the war. Simple 4D chess, of course. 3D chess, 4D chess, 3.5.5 chess. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Alright, any day now. And we have made it. Nice. Send another good portion over here. I'll get rid of that. Oops. Well, they're, they're on the way anyways. Um, come over here. Help defend the line. At, at the very minimum, help defend the line. What is our artillery stockpile like? 4,000? Good. Because I'm going to switch a lot of these divisions over. Because right now you have just infantry. But now I'm going to make them hit a little harder. <clears throat> Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. We do need to make some more subs too, though. Let's see, anything else? No war propaganda. Awesome. Good. At this point, just send everyone in. I think we'll be okay. Should be okay. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this way, we continue to get more XP. And hopefully conquer the African continent. Good, good, good. Oh, we like two American subs. Great. Now, I'm going to actually put... You two under this other guy. We might get attacked after we go to war with the Swedes. So I'm going to need one of you, like, in Odense. I'm going to need another one of you around Paris. We'll say that. Uh, you three infantry divisions, just do some coast guarding things. And I'm not going to lie, I might have lost track of time and figured out what... How much more time that we actually have? Oh boy. Uh, maybe give it 10 more minutes, yeah. That'll probably be good. Yep, my phone is still broken. I'm waiting for a new phone, but regardless. So, oh, where are you going? Oh, you're going down here? Okay, well, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. Now, obviously, I don't want you to go ham when you attack, but, you know, whatever. Alright, not bad. Just waiting to go to war with the Swedes. And there we go. Nice, nah, sunk a Danish uh, coastal defense ship. There you go. That's what I like to see. Looks like they got quite a few divisions over there. Before we actually go to war, though, let's make sure that our tank divisions have enough firepower 
to dissuade anyone from interfering with our capabilities, our military capabilities. Do we have any more bombers? Air support. We got a lot of naval bombers. That's actually really good. I'm actually going to add those on soon, but it looks like we have no more extra bombers. So be it. So be it. You know what? Add 200 more bombers here now. Since we got them, we might as well use them, right? All right. Oh. Well, we continue to hit enemy ships, which is good. Nice and good. All or nothing armor scheme, great. We also need better destroyers. Let's go ahead and go to war. Deterrence, huh? Well, something tells me this whole deterrence thing isn't really going to work very well for you. Hmm. Also, I'm taking out Sweden so we can get to Finland faster. That way we can directly support them or take them out if we really want to. Okay, thanks. Good luck. And actually, I'm going to need my Marines here to do something. Alright, Marines. I need you to do something here. We need more naval supremacy, huh? 49% and 47%. Hungary claims... Greater Hungary. Oh, good job, Hungary. Hope you feel great. Befriend... Oh, if we could befriend Turkey. Hmm. That actually might be very, very good for us. Maybe return to the Ottoman Empire, perhaps? Oh, we are shelling them. That's actually kind of cool. And we are slowly winning. I wish we had more sea supremacy around here. I really wish we did, but I'm not sure why we don't have enough yet. Uh, naval invasion support. Maybe we will win, maybe we won't. Who knows? I certainly don't. Sweden. Zero losses so far. Seriously, do we need to change this to, like, convoy escorts? Or something? Because they're not going. Yeah. Hmm. Division still preparing. Inferior enemy. Danish belt. We only have 48% supremacy. We can't even win here. Huh. Well, that's something that I'm kind of stumped on. Aluminum. Fuel. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, we probably don't need that much fuel from them anymore. Uh, let's see. We are researching 1940 ships. Just keep making more destroyers, I guess, for now. There's really not much else we can do about it. Oh, I have the Faust plus, 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 plus. Cool. Um, Schleswig-Holstein. That'll be the base of operations where all new ships will be at. Which is fine enough for me. Oh, they can actually pierce us. Wow. Oh, what is this? Some Swedish subs. Cool. If we destroy those Swedish subs, then maybe we can invade. Go ahead and add in a couple more heavy fighters. And then a lot more naval bombers. Cool. We don't need this and we'll Great, so we're done with land doctrine, finally. Uh, actually, maybe naval doctrine will help us out. More battleship, heavy cruiser st organization, strike force organization loss. It's fine with me. Nice. They lost three subs. That's good. We might actually be able to navally invade. We can't really take Melmo. Kind of a, you know, downer. But that's okay. Hmm, planes. We got this. That's good. Armor. It is 1941. Almost 1942. We do need, do need maintenance companies. Let's go with that next. Good. So the Marines are where? Where do they go back? Let's go and do that. Hey! Happy 1942, everyone. Gotteberg. You are going somewhere. Oh, you're going to keep Copenhagen. Nice! You got all the way over here. Go ahead and come over here. That'd be great. They lost four more subs. Yep, they're going to lose a lot of things all around here. That's good. Add in those divisions. The two Marines have made it back here. That's fine enough for me. Copenhagen, De Malmo. That's fine with me. And then you two. Uh, 
divisions. That'll be good. Come from where I guess where you're at right now and help attack Melmo. And you know what? Let's add everyone else here. And if you can, go ahead and try to spread out. Nice, an American sub is gone. Tanks, you're doing okay. Just keep trying. Even though it probably won't actually go very well for you. You you are here just to be a distraction. Go ahead and try to come on out. Spread out. That'd be great. God, I really need to get a phone to check time. Nice. Now we're spreading out. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Yeah, sometime this year I will probably annex Pitchy France. How's this going? Well, it looks like we're doing alright. I mean, there's a lot of supply issues down here, obviously. But, it could be going a lot worse. What if we just went up this way? I think half you guys go up that way. Cool. We went five of you guys went this way. Alright, so we're still trying to attack, but that's not really working out so well for us, so... Go ahead and hold, and maybe come over to this side. That actually might be the best thing to do. We already have two Greek divisions defending anyways. No big problem, no big problem. Using Marines to help attack Melmo might not be a terrible idea. And you are doing... Felix Steiner doing... Okay, not great, but okay. Wait for our tanks to get a little bit more strength. We have landed a Melmo. And... Let's go ahead. Send the tanks in. Oh, we sunk an American light cruiser or coastal defense ship. We've met up with the Marines. Now we have southern Sweden pretty much going to be under control. Great. Oh, an, an American heavy cruiser. Oh, and we just researched something. Very cool. What do we research? Ah, probably depth charge. It's going to be better destroyers. That'd be great. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, nice. A couple convoys sunk. How is this looking over here? Not bad. If you want to, you can strike into somewhere. I want you to get all the way to Cairo. Cairo is the capital of the UK? Wow. That's a little crazy to think about. Actually, let's spread you guys out maybe a little bit better, actually. That'll be better. That'll be good. Spread them out a little bit more for now. And we sunk an American light cruiser and another American light cruiser. And we have more Coast Guards. Awesome. I freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it. And actually, you know what, just in case, I'm going to start garrisoning some of Africa so we don't get attacked ourselves. That'll be good. That'll be very good. British Malaya is has capitulated. It's not looking very good for the Allies now. Japan, you are doing a great job. That is disgusting, Sin Kyung. What are you doing? And this is what I kind of feared. All right, the Soviet Union has declared war on our great, great ally. Oh boy. That's all I can say, just oh boy. You know what? If we lose some territory, so be it. If not, so be it. I'm kind of waiting for them to ask for assistance. Let's see. Oh, von Manstein. No, all right. Join wars. Uh, yes, everyone join in. Are we all fighting this together? It looks like we might be. All right, then. Um, uh, if you can tell, they are banning the line a little bit, so... I'm going to go ahead and capitalize on that. If you can go, go ahead. But if you cannot, don't be too crazy. They just reordered their entire line. Wow. Wowzers. You know what? With that in mind, we'll probably end it here, then. That's a little crazy. Not gonna lie. Um, but other than that, I mean, we took out Denmark, which is good. We took out Ireland, which is good. We've definitely solidified our control over continental Europe. And the Soviets have declared war on us. Now, I'm not exactly sure how long this video is going to be. If it's a little long, I'm sorry. If it's a little short, I'm also sorry. But now we are full, fully entrenched in a truly great war. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you like the video. Subscribe if you're new. And if you want me to recruit more SS divisions... Please let me know below. Thank you very much for watching.